Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a simple weight loss tracker or weight gain tracker, whichever way you're going. So on the screen, I've got an example of what I'm going to recreate. So if I put uh, for the 17th of March that my weight was 155 and at the end of it, it was 154. What you get there is that I've actually lost a pound on that day. And if I put that up to 156, I put one pound on. So basically, that's what I want to recreate. And you can see it's telling me how many stones these pounds are. So that's 11 stone 2. 154 is 11 stone. So that's 11 stone dead. And then you can see that I've concatenated it. So you can see it all together there. But I'll just recreate all this so you can see that. And I've got conditional formatting going on here. So if it's a, it's a minus, I've lost weight, it's going green. If I've put weight on, it's a plus, it's gone red. And at the top there, that's my starting weight and that's the current weight. So at the moment, I'm not doing very well, according to this. Now, let's just recreate this. And I can start in, I'll start in this cell. So if I put today's date in this cell... And then just merge that into one cell for a minute. And then I can just pull that down for however long I want. But I'll just go for that, that many. And then what I now need is start, start and an end. And again, I can copy that down. So it'll just duplicate that if I highlight those two. And then just pull that down to there. So I've got a start and end. And then I want a column here where it's going to give me a starting starting weight so I'll just put that there and then this cell is where I'm going to put my starting weight which is 154 say I'll colour that in yellow so it's the same as the one above um, type that Mr G off starting weight and then what I now need to do is put the labels for each of these columns so that's stone pound and loss gain so stones pounds uh, it's not loss gain actually that's for that one um, but I will put that there loss gain it's picking it up from above so I'll leave it like that and then I'll color this cell in no I'll just leave that so that's just going to look at this cell and then add up all the rest and take it off so it's giving you a score on the door if you like so I'll do that in a minute so let's have a look how we're going to do this. So let's say the starting weight on this is 154 and the end is 155. So already I've not done great. I want that to say 11 stones. Now what I have to do to get it to say 11 stones is use the round down function. And you can see how that works in a second. So I'll just type it in. Equals round down. Open the bracket. So that's what I want to round down and I'm going to divide that by 14, close the bracket on that, click the tick, that comes up with 11 and now I need to use the mod function to work out what the pounds is, so that's equals mod and then I'm clicking on that one, doing a comma and doing 14, close the bracket, click the tick, that comes up with 0, so if I just check that, if I go 155, that's right, so 154, bring that back. And if you want it to stay like that, you can, or you can do what I've done here, which is just concatenated it, so I can put the word stone and pounds in there, or 13 stones, it should say. So what I'm going to do there is just go equals, click onto this one, and then I need a glue point, which is the and sign, and then I need quote, open quote, so I can put stones as a word, text string if you like, space close the quotes and then I need another and sign a glue point so I can glue it to that one and then after that one I need another glue point so I can do pounds and then at the end of it I need the quotes like so tick that and that's correct and then you can pull that down now, if you didn't want to show this, I could put an if statement in front of that one, maybe. So basically, if this is blank, 
don't do anything or maybe if this is blank don't do anything so if I get myself on that one and just put an if statement in front of that so if open bracket this start cell equals zero comma quote quote do nothing comma otherwise do the concatenation and then close that if back bracket at the end tick so if I pull that down that's all gone because this is all blank and that makes it a bit tidier now if I pull this one down you can see that that's going to say 11 stone one pound so basically in this cell I need to do a form that's going to tell me that I've, I've, I've increased by one pound so let's go equals that cell minus that cell tick that so it's got a plus one so that's going to be that's bad now I need to just copy that down into the uh, across to the end of each one so I'll just paste it there and paste it there all the way down so you can see that's going to pick that up like so and then that one and then the last one you don't have to do this but I just like to do this now I also want to have conditional format on this formatting on this so if this goes plus it's not good so I want it to be red like these ones so up to conditions and let's just delete that one add a new one so if it's greater than zero greater than zero I want that to be bad so that needs to go red add if it's less than zero I could do less than equals to zero but let's just do less than if it's less than zero that means if there's no change it will stay it'll go white I'll go less than or equals to less than or equals to zero that is good so we'll go good where's good good green okay let's just check that so if I change this to one five three I've lost a pound that's good just control Z undo now I can clone that down all these other zeros by using the clone tool and if I double click on it it stays on and then I should just be able to plop that in there like so it's going green because I said less than or equal to that's it and then you just click that off to finish it off now what I need to do is put some borders on all of this so I'll go to borders like so put the borders on and then grid it off so just one last thing to do I need to have the running total there so I need to go equals the way I've done this one I've done it slightly different to that one so equals that plus the sum of all the others the sum of all of these close that sum bracket click the tick so 155 and then if that is greater than that I want that to be red so condition again so if that is greater than that cell we're saying that's bad add if it's less than or equals to that cell we'll say that's good good okay so that's bad now if I just change the end to 153 let's see if this works it's gone to green that's great so 155 is bad and then you come down with these starts the next one coming down will go 155 as a start weight ended up with 157 need to pull these down and again I could put an if statement in front of these round down function and the mod function just to do exactly the same as I've done here so it just hides it just to keep this tidy but what you can see there is that I've now put three pounds on and I've only been doing it for two days so I'm not doing very well but that's just a quick look at how you can create a basic weight tracker and you can make this as complicated as you want you can go across the screen you can come down you can have it on different sheets whatever you want but that those are the formulas that you would need if you're not interested in these two columns, fair enough, you don't need to concatenate. If you want to see it like that, you need to concatenate. You've got conditional formatting on to show red and green. Red for weight gain, green for weight loss. 
and we've got an if statement there hiding it. So hopefully that's of use for you. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.